Use a PMTP system that functions independently from the paving crew during normal paving operations, but requires an operator to initiate the start of data collection. Section B1A lists the PMTP system requirements. Ensure that the PMTP system can collect measurements longitudinally and laterally at one foot or less intervals at all paving speeds. The system can capture the entire width of surface temperature measurements for the required traffic and auxiliary lanes being paved by one pass of the paver. Additionally, ensure that the measurements are collected at an horizontal accuracy of 2 inches or less. Please ensure that the installed PMTP system takes measurements at a distance of no less than 3 feet, and no greater than 12 feet, of the trailing edge of the screed plate, unless waived by the engineer. Ensure that the brackets or plates used for pavement smoothness do not affect more than a total of two 10-inch wide lateral regions of surface temperature measurements. Placement of a ride bracket, and associated contact tail plate if used, must not affect more than one 10-inch wide region. Ensure that other objects, such as umbrellas or lights, are not obstructing the surface temperature measurements, and are not restricting the accuracy and functionality of the GNSS. Collect PMTP measurements on 100% of each lift for the required traffic and auxiliary lanes. The required traffic and auxiliary lanes were discussed in Module 3, Special Provision Subsection, A, All Intelligent Construction Technology Methods. Once the data lot is established, as previously discussed in Module 3, divide the data lot into 150 linear foot data sublots. The last sublot typically does not equal 150 feet, and therefore, is treated as follows. When the last sublot is less than 75 linear feet, it is combined with the previous data sublot. When the last sublot is greater than or equal to 75 linear feet it is treated as one data sublot. When evaluating the surface temperature measurements in VEDA, Exclude temperatures that are less than 180 degrees Fahrenheit and measurements that are within 2 feet prior to, and 8 feet after, paver stops that are greater than 1 minute in length. The exclusion of paver stops will be re-evaluated in the future, when VEDA can import smoothness and dielectric data. The thermal segregation index, TSI, is calculated for each data sublot. It is a composite index of the variability of surface temperature measurements, as calculated using the standard deviation, and the transverse variability of surface temperature measurements, as calculated with the transverse semivariogram, TSV, index. The TSV allows for identification of the presence of longitudinal thermal streaking which can often be attributed to paver setup, or the driving on wind rows. Equation 2016-1 and 2016-2 presents the TSI equation. Again, it combines the standard deviation and TSV index together. Both types of segregation are equally important, and therefore, the standard deviation and TSV index are equally weighted at a 50% contribution. Dividing the standard deviation and TSV index by their severe start values creates a unit less index, so it will be the same in English and SI units. The 0.77 offset normalizes the data to a 1 to 100 scale. As shown in equation 2016-2, the TSI is capped at 100. Please contact the AMT unit if you would like further details pertaining to calculation of the TSI. Equation 2016-3 presents the thermal coverage equation. Thermal coverage is calculated per sublot and is based on the length of the actual PMTP data collected divided by the required length in a given sublot.